on radio, on YouTube, and on your smartphone, this is Tutor Speaks. We invite all listeners to tune into I-95.5 every Thursday morning at approximately 7.25 for Tutor Speaks, a program which highlights local, regional, and international issues affecting the education sector. Good morning to all listeners. This is the segment Tutor Speaks, and I'm your presenter, Barry Joel Design. What should a teacher do if he believes his rights are being violated? That is the subject of today's segment. Disagreements occur naturally in nearly every aspect of human life. This is because we are all unique individuals having different needs, demands, drives, desires or perspectives on issues. No two individuals will ever be 100% in agreement about everything. It is therefore not uncommon for conflicts to arise from time to time between spouses, family members, friends or co-workers. Conflicts exist simply because of the diversity in human existence. In any workplace, ongoing conflict is a cause for concern as it is known to lower productivity and morale. For this reason, several strategies are used for reducing or managing conflicts. Among the strategies used in the teaching service, the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association is directly involved in a few, including ensuring that job descriptions are clearly defined and developing strategies for handling grievances. With regard to the first, Tutor engages the office of the Chief Personal Officer every three years in a job evaluation exercise. This exercise is not only for the purpose of negotiating compensation, but also for ensuring clarity where there may be ambiguity or redundancy. Additionally, the association was instrumental in the development of the grievance procedure, a fundamental clause in the collective agreement that delineates how conflicts should be handled. What is the grievance procedure? The grievance procedure is a process that allows teachers to formally express their dissatisfaction about work situation, including working arrangements, managerial decisions, and the interpretation, application, administration, or alleged violation of their terms and conditions of employment. It is a legal process in which school administrators are obligated to participate. There are six stages involved in the grievance procedure, each engaging personnel representing the teacher on one hand and the Ministry of Education on the other. It begins with the aggrieved teacher formally complaining to the principal with or without his staff representative if he so chooses. If within five working days there is no resolution, the aggrieved teacher can take up the matter with the school supervisor one or two for the district. The teacher, if he so chooses, may have his district field officer represent him at this stage. If there is no resolution within 10 working days, the aggrieved teacher may then request that tutor's industrial relations officer write a formal complaint on his behalf to the school supervisor 3. After writing the school supervisor 3, if there is no resolution within 15 working days, tutor's industrial relations committee then reports the matter on behalf of the aggrieved teacher to the permanent secretary, Ministry of Education, or to the Chief Administrator, Tobago House of Assembly, accordingly. Subsequently, if there is no resolution within 20 working days, the Industrial Relations Committee then reports the matter on behalf of the aggrieved teacher to the Chief Personnel Officer with a note on the facts of the case. At the final stage, if there is no resolution, the matter is reported to the Minister of Finance, who may refer it to the Industrial Relations Court. Note that it is critically important for all parties to follow the steps involved in the grievance procedure. This is because settled cases often serve as precedent for similar future cases. To answer the initial question, what should a teacher do if he believes his rights are being violated, the teacher should follow the grievance procedure. In closing, from a non-legal perspective, simply learning how to disagree agreeably is an essential skill that is applicable in many situations, one that saves a lot of time, money and effort. We would all do well to keep this in mind. You have been listening to Tutor Speaks. To contact us, please dial 610-3850. That's 610-3850. Or you may email our president at president at tutor.org. 
That's P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T at T-T-U-T-A dot O-R-G. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where recordings of interviews, events, and other materials are uploaded regularly. Like us by giving a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe.